guys what's going on my name is Louis and god bless every single one of you today is april 10 2024 and welcome to the grand supreme news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and just looking at this title it's not looking good for the sleeping giant it says here the three letters fb you know who arrest 18 years old from idaho look at this for plotting lawlessness strikes on churches on behalf of isis here we go this is the, again the tip of the iceberg you guys already know 10 million what i believe is in the 20 million for the past three and a half years more than 10 million came into this sleeping giant now you have elon Sheriff Jones, even uh, Christopher Ray, the director of the FB, you know who, sounding the alarm that these group are here and something big is coming. This here is the tip of the iceberg. We're going to get to this one here, guys, but we have more breaking news. Look at this. This happened April the 9th, but I want to bring this up because, again, we are seeing the signs of uh, the sleeping giant in great I don't want to say the name because of the platform. Let me spell it D-A-N-G-E-R. It says here, grenade found in the Rotten Apple City. Reports of two other devices elsewhere in the Rotten Apple. This is an emergency. Very concerning. Again, like I said, we are seeing the tip of it. But... Those in the spotlights, again, J-O-E, the sleeping giant leader, all of them are saying that everything is fine. Everything is great. There's no signs of certain groups. We shouldn't be concerned. Everything is fine. But let me bring this up really quick. Here we go. You have uh, Christopher Ray once again, sounding the alarm. Very important person here. Foreign advisory and certain groups are sharpening their aim at the sleeping giant. Prepare yourself spiritually, physically, mentally. Like I said, this is the tip of it. All right. So this is just the tip of the iceberg. So we are seeing the signs that you have uh, certain groups out there. Uh, were caught and uh, you guys know about a month ago I post a video you had this young individual from the Middle E uh, he was uh, he was caught at the southern region in Texas and he told uh, BP the the Border Patrol he told him yeah I came here to create a B O M B and my destination is the Rotten Apple but everybody keeps saying everything is fine, Lewis. There's no emergency, Lewis. Everything is good, Lewis. Well, what do you call all these information coming out? Yeah, they caught him. But eventually, there's going to be one that is going to get away. Boom. Worse than 2001. Now, like I said, guys, us Christians, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ... It's very important to uh, stock up, get stuff ready, have certain equipments. When I say equipments, I'm talking about equipments. Uh, again, self-defense. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, Louis, you can't, you can't do that. You, I, I mean, Christian's not supposed to have that. Who told you that? You had King David. <laughs> King David had all these powerful uh, warriors with him, and they walked around with sharp, Swords. I mean, that thing was, I mean, man, they were I mean, taking down monster Goliath all over the place. They weren't, again, they weren't playing around. They walked around with swords. And you know, King David, he loved the Lord. Also, you have, uh, again, disciple. I mean, they walked with Jesus, but at the same time, they still had their stuff. They had their swords and stuff. So, um, you know, you had uh, Abraham, you had you know, Moses. So it's very important. I mean, again, scriptures say you have every right to defend yourself. So, uh, again, like I said, it's very important in these tough times to uh, have certain things. 
and stay in prayer. All right, so uh, we're going to see what's going on in all this here, guys. And give me a second. Let me see which one we... We're going to start with the 18 years old. All right. Now, I did block certain things because they have a flag and the flag has certain letters. And sometimes this platform, when they see that stuff, uh, you know, they just, they're really strict. Put it like that. All right. Give me a second here. I just got home. It's 1.10 a.m. Again, I just got home from the gym. It's been a very busy day for me. Very busy day. I have two jobs now. So again, uh, I want to thank uh, the you know the sleeping giant leader. Thank you so much. You got me working two jobs now. Eggs are expensive, but we got chicken, and I just built a chicken coop. Another three months, those chickens are gonna be laying eggs. I'm gonna be saving money. All right. So it says here the three letter the FB. You know what has cuffed an 18 years old. And by the way, guys, all these new ones, the 10 million or whatever that came into the Sleeping Giant for the past three and a half years under Mr. Burns. All of them were, well, 80% of them were young individuals. M-A-L-E. They were all young. So, once again, 18 years old in um, Idaho, after uncovering his uh, truly horrific and lawlessness event, his plan to strike churches, this past weekend, on behalf of ISIS. Everything's fine, Louis. Everything's great. Mm -hmm. So you have this person, I'm going to skip his name, is now facing, you know what, of uh, attempting to provide material support or resources to a designated uh, foreign T organization. After the three letters says he devised a plan to, oof, oof, man, certain stuff I can say here. Wow. Guys, let me just highlight this. All right. I, I can't say it, but look at this. And by the way, this is happening. This is happening a lot here in the Sleeping Giant. It happened in, I believe, Oh man, what was it? Uh, Virginia? It happened somewhere too. So they finding vehicles. And inside a vehicle, they are B-O-D-I-E-S. And they are all basically, you see that word there? So, and again, I did talk about it over on Patreon. But uh, there's been some information coming out about, you know, they finding vehicles. And inside of vehicles is, mm-mm. Mm -mm. And uh, you guys remember about the uh, Uber driver, right? Last year, the Uber driver in Florida. You heard about his story. I mean, again, my condolences and prayers to the families and friends that lost the loved ones. Again, he was dropping off his last delivery. And this this dude from from South America, I mean, this dude was, was big. Um, from what I heard... Uh, he was a, he was a bouncer or something. Uh, he was working at a some kind of a club or something, and um, yeah, that dude is. I mean, what he did to the Uber driver is just scary, and uh, we are seeing a lot of it now, guys. I mean, these people' minds and hearts is just mm -mm, it's a whole di it's a whole different ball game. Like I said, my condolences and prayers to the families and friends that lost their loved ones. This is why it's very important to be aware. Of your surroundings in these tough times. All right, so once again, um, this dude here wanted to do something to his pops. And it's not pretty. It goes to tell you the minds and hearts of the young ones. What's going on with them? What's going on with the young ones? Well, I'll tell you what's going on. A lot of these young ones are not being to uh, taught scriptures. Their minds is just basically things of the world. So it says here, you know, he was... Uh, he was planning to do certain thing with uh, t again to his pops. Restrain him using cuffs and mm, take his uh, stuff, G U N, to use for maximum. <sighs> All 
man. He really wanted to do something. So the defendant allegedly pledged loyalty to ISIS. And guess what? He's not the only one. There's a lot more out there. And sought to strike innocent attending churches in Idaho. A truly horrific plan which was detected and thwarted uh, by the FB you know who. Director Christopher Ray said in a statement that Christopher is sounding the alarm. He's been uh, sounding the alarm for the past couple of months. The problem is, who's responsible? Well, you got someone in the spotlight that left the doors open. And, um... Mm. So, once again, you have the uh, department will continue to relentlessly pursue disrupt and hold accountable those who would commit these uh, lawlessness against the innocent and interests of the sleeping giant. Once again, in the uh, complaint, you have the FB blank says the investigation began with this individual, the 18 years old, who is a resident of, I'm going to skip that name, reached out to confidential uh, human sources online and indicated his support for ISIS and T organization more generally. You know, I remember back in 2001 when the two stones got hit. I'm using metaphor here. You guys know the two stones got hit. The 43rd, the sleeping giant, the former leader, George. He came out and said, we're going to make sure that these things never happen again. 22 years later, 23 years later. Yeah, right. Mm. So it says here you have this person spread ISIS online and solid, uh, solicited uh, the ISIS movement in, a, in an approval of his uh, efforts. Now, discuss traveling for the sleeping giant to join that group. Considered and planned ways to support that group financially. Now, his strike plan evolved, excuse me, involved using some very powerful equipment. Look at all these equipment, man. His plan grew more precise as he eventually identified the specific church and date on which he planned to strike. But everything is fine, Louis. Everything is great. No need to worry, Louis. Now we're going to go with this next one here. And these are very important stuff we need to talk about because, again, this is the sleeping giant and this is the future to our young ones. Mm. Foreign adversaries and T groups are sharpening their aim at the sleeping giant, impacting cyber operations, security, and some mafia like tactics. And the increasingly concerning Christopher, very important person, said in a speech on Tuesday at the Sleeping Giant Bar Association in D.C., Christopher said the agency is working to prevent a coordinated strike from these groups such as ISIS. Well, they're talking about them. That means... They are here. Foreign T groups, including ISIS and these others, have uh, renewed calls for strike against the JEWS communities here in our sleeping giant. Across the West, in statements and propaganda, Christopher said. All right, once again, here in the sleeping giant.
Mm-mm. I mean, like I say, guys, um, I pray that everything is all well, but uh, you just got to stay fully awake. Don't fall asleep because in 2001, it was a beautiful day. It was a nice, beautiful day. I think it was a, a Tuesday, right? Because there was a uh, NFL game going on and some people missed. Uh, you know, the next day, because a lot of people were drinking, it was the Giants versus, uh, again, I still remember that day, guys, uh, because everybody was just having a good time when it was the New York Giants versus I forget what teams. And so the next day, people didn't show up. A lot of people didn't show up to uh, to work in the, uh, in those uh, the tower and the Rotten Apple. But uh, it was a beautiful day. It was uh, It was just a peaceful day, just a regular day. And around a something, boom. Yeah. And then close to nine something, I think it was like 920, here comes the second one. So, again, like I say, guys, I do believe uh, things could happen again. History repeats itself. All right, so it says here you have the these group and a potential for a coordinated event here in the homeland our sleeping giant like the ISIS we saw what happened to the bear country again you guys already know <clears throat> that concert oh by the way information is coming out that it seems like those who funded those group to do this event in the bear country well it kind of lines up to someone that we all know and they are little by little finding all the information and they're still investigating but it seems like it might have been uh, again the sleeping giant leader beloved son his company looks like paid those group to do that I right, just follow me with the code words here, guys. I can't say names. <laughs> so it says here now uh, increasingly concerning and all right. So they're referring to the bear uh, situation that it could happen here, too. I agree. So you guys already know October, uh, the biblical war going on um, and also so many stuff that's happening. The warning comes as experts predicts ISIS will try to carry out an event. Boom! Sleeping giant. Let's uh, let's kind of uh bring that up just a little bit. Here we go. The warning comes as experts predict that these groups will try to carry out an event on the sleeping giant. Elon said it. Christopher Ray is saying it. Sheriff Jones is also saying it too. So many are coming in and they coming in with backpacks. But I truly, truly, it bothers me that people tell, I mean, people say everything is fine. I don't know what world they live in <laughs> man uh, because scripture tells us a whole different ball game for these end times and again this is not no fear mongering this and that this, again are you seeing what's going on just because we in the middle of all again we are surrounded by ocean doesn't mean that we safe because eventually that peaceful sleep sleepless night that you have uh, for many years, eventually that's going to go away. So we should believe them when they say that. They're going to try to do it. Retired General, I'm going to skip his name, um, told the news this week. Mm -mm -mm. On Tuesday, April the 9th. Mr. Christopher also touched on warnings both seen and unseen from 
a bad actor from the bear, the red dragon, North K and Persia. The bear is targeting underwater cables that are critical to global communication. He said, <sighs> is that true? Well, I, I really don't know guys. All right. Because in this biblical war, you got so many things happening. And, uh, you know, scripture tells us, assuming, do not assume, do not bear false witness. Again, if you don't know, then just, <laughs> let, again, just, shh, that's it, you know. Uh, but, uh, again, it keeps saying that it's the bear, and the bear keeps saying it's them. So, it just back and forth stuff going on here. The Bear Gov continued to invest heavily in their cyber operation in part because they see cyber as the uh, very powerful equipment to keep us to keep uh, keep up with us, Chris, uh, Christopher said. Uh, so basically, cyber stuff is like the new biblical war stuff. It's uh, it's it's like tank on steroids or, you know, stuff like that. So. WW3 is not going to be the same as WW2 or WW1. WW3 is going to be a whole different ball game. It's it's the future stuff. The bear continues to impact critical infrastructure. That is very true. They are impacting critical infrastructure in the yellow and blue country. The reason why they're taking those down is so they don't communicate with NATO uh, soldiers and all, all of them, because they're trying to send all these equipments. Um, again, you guys know equipments and money. They're trying to send all that to the yellow and blue country. So this war could go on for many years. The bear is saying, uh-uh. That, again, that thing got to go. It got to go. So uh, once again, guys, the Sleeping Giant will continue supporting the yellow and blue country. Again, Ukraine. Um, and as, as long as the yellow and blue country... Continue receiving all this. This war is never going to end. All right. So it says here, including underwater cables and industrial control system, both in the Sleeping Giant and around the world. I don't know about that, to be honest, guys. I believe that uh, there's a lot more to it. So it says, since it's unprovoked, the invasion of the yellow and blue, again, it's, a, it's an operation. They call it. Okay, so they call it military operation, but the sleeping giant call it invasion. So even though the sleeping giant, ever since the end of WW2, they invaded 80 something lands. Look it up. Do your research. How many lands the sleeping giant invaded since WW2? Look it up. Look it up right now. Go, go search on Google. How many lands the sleeping giant the U.S. How many lands the U.S. has invaded? You know what? Look it up. You're going to be in shock. But when it comes to the bear, oh, the bear can't do that. Bad bear, bad bear. How dare you, bear? you invading, bear. But it's okay for the sleeping giant to do it. <laughs> Man. All right, so it says here, we've seen the bear conducting reconnaissance on the sleeping giant energy sector adding that adding to that concern is that the bear like our other adversaries don't care if their cyber campaign affects civilians here's the thing the sleeping giant does the cyber too to those regions so everybody's doing this cyber stuff the sleeping giant is acting like they're angels those in the spotlight i don't trust those in the spotlight all right, because those in the spotlights, they are the abomination. They declare the abomination. They love the abomination. So I again, I don't, I don't go by them. All right, so it says to put it simply, the Red Dragon. Oh, hold on. It says here the Red Dragon Gov plays the long game. He said to put it sim uh, simply, the Red Dragon is throwing its whole gov at undermining the security and economy of the rule of law world. It's a lot of good information on this one here. This goes to tell you that we are living in, in 
dark times. The Red Dragon cyber program is larger than any other Gov programs, Christopher said, adding that it outnumbers the Sleeping Giant 50 to 1. The land Red Dragon cyber warning and mafia-like tactic make it particularly worrisome, he added. He also offered a full-throttle defense of Section 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, which lays the groundwork for the Gov to be able to collect the communication of non-Sleeping Giant overseas who message on the Sleeping Giant-based platforms without use of a warrant. Section 702 is up for reauthorization in the House this week. Once again, the consequences of trying, excuse me, the consequences of tying our hands are not merely hypothetical, Christopher said. He also took question after his speech in which he blasted the House uh, proposed 500 million cut to the FB you know what budget. The Red Dragon ain't cutting their budget, he said. Give me a second here, guys. I had to pause the video. So, cutting the FB you know what budget is a form of setting us back. Who does cutting the budget help, he asked. It helps the lawlessness, uh, the other ones, the Red Dragon Gub, the cyber, and um, ransomware actors. Other groups and T groups, who does it hurt? It hurts our law enforcement partners, state local law enforcement partners who depend on us every day in all whole host of ways. And ultimately hurts the sleeping giant people in the neighborhoods. But well, here's the thing, guys. You know, uh, again, some people is gonna say, "Well, that's good." F you know, uh, again, that's good for them. But here's the thing. Um, you know, without them, um, that 18 years old would have done something very bad. So they caught that 18, 18 years old on time. Now, again, certain things I don't like about the three letters and this and that. But, uh, again, we do need enforcement. We do need all these things. Uh, again, we do need them. Uh, because in these tough times, the real living is looking pretty bad. And things are going to hit the fan really, really, really hard. All right, let's go with this one here. Uh, we're going to go with the Sleeping Giant Star Wars coming. All right, so you got all these important Sleeping Giant. You got uh, Christopher Christopher sounding the alarm. Top U.S. General sounding the alarm. Everybody sounding the alarm. Uh, Lewis is sounding the alarm. Elon sounding the alarm. Sheriff Jones sounding the alarm. A lot of watchmen and watchwomen women sounding the alarm. Again, prepare yourself. Don't just rely on, you know, those in the spotlights. They're not going to be here. They're not your superhero. I mean, they got us uh, buying all these expensive food. We supposed uh, Again, we're supposed to be taken care of, not punished. Scripture says leadership should reward the righteous, the good ones, and punish the wicked. We're not seeing no rewards. We're seeing punishment. He's going to have to answer, again, uh, the sleeping giant leader is going to have to answer to God. Now, scriptures laid the laws for those who take control, those who become, again, kings of nations, leaders. They have uh, a guideline in scripture that they must follow. Yeah, guys, if they don't follow that, mm -mm -mm -mm. because holding the throne were meant for righteous, not wicked. And we are seeing that the throne here, the sleeping giant throne, the leadership, the throne is being held by those who support the abomination. It says here, 
the bear and the red dragon are rapidly building orbital capability, the space command head has said. So the possibility of a biblical war in space is no longer just uh, theoretical. General uh, Stefan, head of the Sleeping Giant Space Command, said on Tuesday, speaking at the 39th Space, I'm going to skip that name, at the command's headquarters in Colorado Spring, Whiting painted an alarming picture of the bear and the red dragon orbital capability. The red dragon has built a kill web over the Pacific Ocean to find, fix, track, and yes, to target the sleeping giant, an allied military capability. Whiting said, now describing the Red Dragon capital efforts as moving at breathtaking speed. Since 2008, the bear has doubled, excuse me, has, uh, yeah, has doubled, and the Red Dragon has tripled uh, the number of their intelligence, uh, surveillance, and reconnaissance satellites in orbit, while also testing and fielding anti-satellite equipment. Meanwhile, the Sleeping Giant has the world's best space uh, architecture, but its military constellation are optimized for a Bengen environment. The Red Dragon, basically the Sleeping Giant, seems like they're behind. I remember the 4-5, I think it was 2018. He said, we got to you know, build the Space Force. And, you know, everybody was mocking him. And, oh, Space Force, uh, Star Wars stuff. Uh, you know, he watches too much movie. And now, you know, uh, 2020, you guys already know, uh, the 4 or 5 didn't lose. They just took that thing. Uh, again, they took, the, uh, they stole the w, uh, W-I-N from him. But uh, all of a sudden, now we need, uh, you know, Space Force. They were mocking him. But now we need it. <laughs> so it says here the bear and the red dragon's space equipment hold at risk our modern way of life and how we defend the sleeping giant. And we must be able to deter and counter uh, those warnings, these warnings, when called upon to achieve space superiority. I actually apologize about the word. So once again, uh, this general described a possible armed conflict in space as economically and environmentally devastating, perhaps for decades, and said that the sleeping giant wishes to keep things in a state of enduring competition instead. Now, the sleeping giant is already working with Canada, Australia, and the UK on Operation Olympic Defender, a program intended to optimize space operation, according to the Space Command. The general announced that Germany, France, and New Zealand have been invited to join as well. He also revealed that the command's new capability assessment and validation environment has achieved minimum viable capability. The modeling and simulation laboratory will enable the sleeping giant to derive better ways of deterring and planning to conduct operation for a biblical war that's never happened. And a biblical war we don't want to happen, General said. The sleeping giant recently accused the bear of having undisclosed anti-satellite capability, possibly nuclear in nature. The bear leader said that the sleeping giant claims were unfounded and a ploy to manipulate and control talks. The bear embassy in the sleeping giant has also accused the sleeping giant of using, I'm going to skip that name, to mask its own plans to materialize space. All right. So you have a sleeping giant general sounding the alarm. Star Wars is coming. You had Elon. Elon is also sounding the alarm. Let me bring that up really quick because it's very important. There's so many stuff that uh, is being put out there.
Uh, I just had it here and I lost it. I truly apologize, guys. But again, Elon is sounding the alarm. Elon is saying that, uh, you know, it's coming. Something is coming. Because of the new ones. Those are 10 million that came into the Sleeping Giant. I want to bring this up really quick here, guys. And this is also going to happen. You see this side? That's the Holy Land. They are planning to fire towards Persia, Iran. The Holy Land is ready to respond with a strike on Persia nuclear facilities if Persia capital decide to take revenge for the takeout of very important general. The Sun citing sources in Western Security Agency. Persia has several nuclear facilities including power plants, uranium mines, and research reactors. That's where we are right now in these tough times that we are living. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end this video. Um, I got to post this video right now. And again, stay in prayer. Prepare yourself spiritually, physically, and mentally. We are living in tough times. And uh, again, it's no longer the same sleeping giant that we once knew. All right. It's no longer the same sleeping giant. Everything is shifting. Um... I'm just seeing there's any more information here. Everything's shifting, and uh, we're seeing that uh, everything is being transformed. Hold on. What is going on here? Five minutes ago, the bear opens. Oh, hold on. The bear opens the case against sleeping giant NATO officials in connection with funding It has been established that funds received through commercial organization, and that's what I just mentioned to you, uh, in particular, the oil and gas company operating in the yellow and blue, have been used in recent years to carry out certain events. Follow me on this one. In the Bear Federation, as well as abroad, in order to eliminate prominent and public figures, a committee statement said an investigation is now working to establish connection between the per perpetrators of the strikes and foreign curators, organizers, and sponsors, it added. So, from what I heard, and I'm going to bring this up really quick. Give me a second here. All right. Uh, I'm trying not to show too much, but uh, give me a second. You see that? You see this name right there? Up there? Uh, I don't want to show his face. All right, so you got Mr. Byrne and his son linked the yellow and blue firm connected to the strike in the bear capital. All right, so that's where we at right now, guys. All right, so I'm going to keep you updated on these uh, world events that's related to Bible prophecy. Uh, the Sleeping Giant is uh, is no longer the same Sleeping Giant that we once knew. And like I said, they all sounded the alarm. Sadly, a lot of people is going to take this video and say, oh, nothing's going to happen. Nothing is going to happen. Really? Tell those in 2001. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. 
No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.